Okay, next one. If the length of the latus rectum is equal to half of its main axis of an ellipse <coughs> in the standard form, then find the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay, ellipse is LLR, length of latus rectum is the minor axis of length of half on the NJP Shepner order. Then the eccentricity is equal to. So, E value manu, find out chess call. So, solution equation of ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Standard form when you mention yes, sir, a greater than b condition. Standard form of ellipse and everything on to me x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 a greater than b. So, e case in manam standard form ga treat chasa. So, given length of latest rectum LLR. So, length of latest rectum is equal to the half of its minor axis. So, a greater than b condition lo minor axis and a length of minor axis to be so in the low half on to the NJP Shepner LLR is equal to the half of its minor axis ok so that means this is the condition <coughs> so 2 to cancel out on the LLR formula A greater than B condition standard formula choose not like the 2B square by A is equal to you could have 2 cancel a point of the B ok so, A greater than B condition lo B chenna di ga bati main axis 2B ho thundi. So, LLR ane di 2B square by A. So, 2B square is equal to AB. Vaka B cancel yes kundha. So, 2B is equal to A. Therefore, A is equal to 2B we get. That implies A is equal to 2B. Since eccentricity, so standard formula on the standard formula a equal to the gabate a square minus b square by a square, a square minus b square by a square. So a the equal to the antler on the goddamn minus a square. So a equal to the a square minus b square. Can the echo on the other Okay, well, b equate b square minus a square by b square. So, <coughs> square root of a square. So, a and a 2b, a square and a, then square just call it 4b square minus b square. By a square means once again 4b square. 4b square log b square both a. 3b square by 4b square. So cancel b square and b square. Root of 3 by 4. So e is equal to square root of 3 by 4. Finally, it is equal to root of 3 by root 4 means it is equal to 2. Therefore, eccentricity e is equal to root 3 by 2. That is the answer.